IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. This is the most commonly performed technique in a fertility clinic. If you understand it in a simple way, what happens is we take the female eggs and then the man's sperm and then put it together in a petri dish, in a glass dish and form embryos. These embryos are then taken and put it back to the lady's womb. So this is the entire process to put it simply. Once this process is done, then the lady can then hope to get pregnant. This treatment over the last 40 years has actually helped countless couples to get a pregnancy and have a child. IVF process has to be understood in five phases. First of all, we have to be sure that you need an IVF for you to get pregnant. Once we have some reason why we are doing an IVF for you, we take you through the paces of IVF. You have to understand the process in complete details because you are going to go through the process. And you have to have a full confidence in your team that they can actually take you through to a pregnancy. This is known as counseling whereby we explain the process in medical details and also in terms of the requirements as the number of injections that may be needed, how often do you need to come to the clinic, how long do you need to wait for every visit that you make to the clinic, what may be the costs involved, what is your approximate chances of getting a pregnancy with every attempt and so and so forth. I would say counseling is the single most important step during an IVF process because if you have understood your process completely and you trust us then the rest is very easy. The third part is the ovarian stimulation where the lady is put on some contraceptive pills to make sure that she menstruates at the right time and then she is put on daily injections which continue for 10 to 12 days. While these injections are going on, she has advised a few do's and don'ts. She needs to stick to those. She also needs to come to the clinic three or four times for ultrasounds and monitoring. After 10 or 12 days of injections, usually the eggs in the female are ready, which is then we advise a ovum pickup. The ovum pickup process is carried out under anesthesia, so we have to first find out whether you are medically fit for that. Once the anesthesia process is over, the eggs are collected, the lady is now free. She can go back and join her normal life. Meanwhile, the man, the husband, has to contribute his semen. He gives one sample prior to the day of ovum pickup to, for us to check whether everything is alright or not and to freeze a sample. Remember, many times because of the stress involved, the man may not be able to give a semen sample on the day of ovum pickup. So it makes sense to freeze a sample prior to ovum pickup. Make sure that you talk to your clinic as to whether they have a freezing facility for the man's sperms. So again, the man is required to contribute his semen on the day of ovum pickup and once the semen is obtained and the eggs are obtained through the process of ovum pickup, now the lab work starts. So the eggs and the sperm that has been collected on the day of ovum pickup are now processed, cleaned up and handled in the lab under extreme sterile conditions. We make the eggs and the sperms either come close or we actually inject one sperm into one egg under the cover of a microscope to form embryos. These embryos are then cultured in special incubators. We maintain a very distinct temperature and environment for these embryos to grow properly. Once these embryos have grown sufficiently for two days or three days or even five days in some cases, we then have embryos ready to be transferred to the lady's womb. Now generally, people are divided into two categories. There are some women who would like the transfer to be done four or five days immediately after ovum pickup and there are some women who want to get the transfer done in the next month. We are okay with both. Once we have formed embryos, we can either freeze them and use them for the next month or transfer them directly in that very month on the fourth or the fifth day of formation. Once the lady has been transferred the embryos, she is again given another set of advice, medications to follow and asked to come back after 14 days to find out whether she is happily pregnant. If she is, she needs to continue her medications for three months and then consult an obstetrician. If she is not conceived this time, there is always a second time around. So this is what we have to remember, that IVF may not succeed every time, but it definitely succeeds over a couple of attempts for most couples. So to summarize, an IVF process is comprising of these following stages. First, to find out if you require an IVF, then counseling, then ovarian stimulation followed by ovum pickup 
and then embryo transfer and then luteal support that is some medications that continue for as long as three months to maintain the pregnancy. This is IVF in short for you.